Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and this, this is a long-nosed snake. Yo, look at this. This is a little night snake. Come here. Hello, buddy. Oh, check that out. It's a desert night snake. This is the little guy. They don't get too big, though. It's a very cute snake. They've got a really cool pattern on them. You can see that head. They actually have little uh, vertical pupils, which is interesting, and they see really good at night. It's a very good nocturnal snake. And uh, he'd be out hunting right now in this little wash. These washes are great for little snakes like this. Non-venomous, of course. That's the only reason I picked it up. But uh, yeah, very cute little snake. Look at that head. Very cool pattern on the head. And he's friendly. He's not trying to bite me whatsoever. And uh, he'd have a lot of predators out here. Other snakes trying to eat him. Birds. Anything, really. It's like a little worm. All right, see you, little buddy. Off you go. Oh, my goodness. Heck yeah. Dude! That's Woo. a long nose snake. Man, that's a stunner. Holy cow. What? This is the first one I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey buddy, hey buddy. It's okay. Wow, this is a very special snake. Now, long nose snakes are mostly lizard eaters, and they come in orange colorations, and you're saying like they can Really, we can get all the different kind of variations here, right? Absolutely, you could get all color phases, and they're actually a super variable snake. So sometimes you can see them with stripes, sometimes they're banded, they're very, very variable, wow. so it's really, it's a really neat snake. That's crazy. See, I've been looking at pictures of these guys in books for years, and never seen one. And uh, really, only recently did I learn there were even different phases of these snakes, because I was only looking at the same picture in my book constantly of this snake, and I only ever saw the orange kind of black variant. But these guys, this is the white variant. Now they look kind of similar, like first glance to like a California king. Like you first think would be, oh wow, it's a king. But you can see they've got blotches in between their stripes. And really they've got a completely different looking face. And they have just a different snake overall. But the coloration, you know, just the white and the black banding can look similar. Now, there's a defense that these guys have. They'll basically squirt blood from their little cloaca down here, right from down there, right by the tail really right before the base of the tail and uh, that's a defense mechanism a lot of different things out here will eat these guys like I said a California king snake those do live out here they will eat this snake birds will eat them like a bird of prey a hawk a little owl or something like that would eat this snake and really this snake would be mostly playing on lizards but he could catch a mouse he could really catch anything that he wanted out here they're cannibalistic oh really and they'll eat other snakes like so they'll this. eat other snakes yeah oh they'll eat a, a, um, so they're kind of similar to a king in that sense they that are. they will eat another yep. snake and they are constrictors, meaning they will wrap around their prey to eat it. They're not just going to grab it and kind of pull it in like a coach whip or a racer snake. They're just going to straight up wrap around that thing and eat it. Now, these snakes, as you can see, sitting on a rock wall. I would have to guess that they're pretty good climbers to be doing that around here. And they're pretty used to this rough, rocky terrain. Now, where do you mostly find these snakes? Because, I mean, right now we're just kind of walking this wash along this base. Kind of like, how do you, like, what, what's something cool about finding this snake for you? Because, I mean, I'm sure you see them pretty often. Yeah, so these snakes will uh, often occupy burrows, rodent burrows, um, they'll use holes in the rocks. They are really, really good at just adapting to certain habitats. If you get into higher elevation, they're kind of just not there anymore. But oh, wow. typically you'll see them in flat, flat desert areas where there's almost no rock and just shrubs. And then you can see them up in really high, like rocky Sonoran desert, you know, uh, typical habitat. So they're, they're pretty cool, pretty neat little animals. And of yeah. course they are, uh, for the most part nocturnal um, but you can see them early mornings and early evenings but that's very yeah. special I mean I'm telling you this is one of the snakes that I wanted to find I, I know it's common but this is just one of those special snakes that I really wanted to find and I'm, I'm just really glad that we got to find one dude thanks so much absolutely really appreciate it helping us find these snakes out here and these things are just absolutely incredible look at that long nose snake and I can I mean you can even see why it's called a long nose snake their snout is much longer than that of most snakes that have kind of like a little King snake nose, if it didn't have that kind of elongated snout, it would look more similar. And the belly, let's see that belly pattern. Just a white belly. Not a kind of whitish belly with some little black dots on it. Absolutely beautiful snake. Man, that's that's just incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. 
and I will see you guys next time. Alright, well, let's keep going.